Taylor Molly, who is my straight eye for the queer guy. I had a fantasy that we were in the finale of Boy Meets Boy, and, and I picked Taylor. And he wasn't straight, he turned out to be gay. I think he's so straight that he's gay by default because you're so in that straight realm that you just got to be gay on the other side of that door. So <laughs> what you don't know about Taylor is that he's an incredible coach, a wonderful teacher, um, as well as being a phenomenal poet and performer. And he inspired the, the duet piece. And uh, so I thank you for that. That's our little baby together. <laughs> and. Um, so you heard about my mom, so this is for my dad, learning to be my father's son. You were a carabao, lifting rice sacks under the Pangasinan sun. A handsome sailor on his way to Greece. Instead found a Filipino nurse who hummed Elvis tunes. She thought America would be a technicolor beach, but she arrived during the coldest Baltimore winter surprised by foods like pizza. You bought a house with a fireplace. It was romantic, mom said. While mom worked late shifts taking care of crack babies in Southeast DC, you watched basketball, the bounce of your belt breaking me when I was three for twisting the controls of the portable TV, called me destroyer no man. You fed me the finest adobo, stews of blood, garlic, chili peppers. When driving me to piano lessons, you said, oh, you could never eat a piano. You could turn so red and jolly, you convinced all the neighbors that you should play Santa Claus. When you were really hiding a temper that left fists through doors, the house you bought is boarded up with too many holes to be sold, your belongings strung outside like a yard sale for the damned. The gorgeous cherry tree you killed with insecticides, gone too. Did you even know what you were doing, Pisces man, lover of seas, whose hot spit I felt in my cheek the day my head split bloody, beaten by the boy across the street? You lifted me by the neck, told me how you were slapped by Japanese bayonets. Don't cry, shaking me like a wet umbrella. It doesn't hurt. You told me how you shoved your pain and hurled it like a tooth. I want to know if you ever saw me, Dad. You hiding behind a hammock and sunglasses. Saw the boy whom you made rub your back for a nickel. I am tired of growing fat like you now that you've become that apathetic sack of rice buried in the fields. What can I do to make it worth the miles? I want to play a sonata of love for you. Arpeggios of anger scaling 32 years of tears for you. Dissonant chords of approval set by metronome clicks for disappointment in you. My hands reach out to lift you higher than the volcanoes where gods gave man rice. And from the altitudes of angels, I am not afraid to say, I've come home.